أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله 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 أشهد أن محمد الرسول أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله حي على الصلاة اللهم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله حي على الصلاة إن الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهديه الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا تجله وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في لحق جهاد حتى أوتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين؟ فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين وعن جابر أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن من أحبكم إلى أحبكم إلي وأقربكم مني مجلسا يوم القيامة أحاسنكم أخلاقا أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد أو بريس الله All praise to Allah, the one, the only, the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe and he is the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. True mercy sent to us. If you follow his path, inshallah, we'll be in Jannah. Amma Bad, if you think about it, our words can be much tougher than swords. Our words can kill. Our words can make damage more than the sword. The, even the poet said that the swords can heal, but the words cannot. It leaves a mark that it cannot go anywhere. The sword will heal. One day it cuts, subhanAllah, it will heal by itself. But the words is very, very harsh. That's why, that's why the khutbah today about Gabr al-Khawatr. What's Gabr al-Khawatr? What do I mean by that? Look at Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. Some examples to make you understand how it's important to gabbal khawatir. To make sure that you support each other. Sometimes even I ask myself, Islam is, is, is it only doing, praying, fasting, zakah, hajj, that's it? Is this Islam? And subhanAllah, it took me quite some time to understand. It's not. Rasulullah sallallahu said, بني الإسلام على خمس What do I mean? If I still talk about this building This building is raised on the walls Then the walls are different than the building 
بني الإسلام على خمس ميز. The five pillars of Islam is these five pillars. But the Islam is up here. It's not related. If these pillars are not there, there is no Islam. But above these pillars is Islam. That's how it works. Even if you look at all the Quran, you look around, the, the prayer, if it doesn't stop you doing bad, is a problem, fasting, and so on. But anyway, today we'll talk about Gabr al-Khawatir. Gabr al-Khawatir, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu was getting up a tree, and the Sahaba saw him. He's no guy, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, if you know his biography, he's almost short person, 50 centimeters, 6 centimeters. Right? He's so short. Imagine now this 50 centimeters going to a tree, and the Sahaba saw his foot, his legs, and he start laughing. The Sahaba start laughing. Humans, right? But who is there to correct? If there's a problem, the doctor of the old doctors, alayhi salatu wasalam, the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, was there, and he said, he said, alayhi salatu wasalam, وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِهِ وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ Look at that. To make Gabr al-Khawatir to Abdullah al Mas'ud, to make him happy. Everyone laughed on him because his legs. And Sayyidina uh, Rasulullah said about him, his legs are much heavier in the scale of Allah than Gabal Uhud. Will that make him happy or not? He'll make him happy. Imagine, now it's a glad tiding for Abdullah al Mas'ud. Glad tiding for Abdullah al Mas'ud. Now your legs are heavier in the scale of Allah than Ahud itself. And Uhud is a big mountain. If you have been there to Medina, you'll see it. It's a huge mountain. And these two feet, two legs are heavier. How to Gabr al-Khawatir. And one of the wise people, the scholar said, what is the best deed you have? He didn't hear prayer or fasting. No, no. He said, Gabr al-Khawatir. Support others. And he said, where is the Dalil? I tell everyone all the time. Don't say anything without a dalil. Where is your dalil? The ayah I narrated. Do you know the person who are taking people outside of religion? Who? The first thing he said. Insult the orphans. Insult them. Push down. Huh? And next. Zakah comes after. Zakah. Comes after. Well, I, hold, and I, I give a khutbah. It doesn't make you pay zakah. No, I'm paying zakah. But I see you not paying zakah. I don't tell you. You have to pay zakah. This is a problem again. I'm doing it. Alhamdulillah. I'm doing zakah. I'm doing praying. But I see you not praying. I didn't tell you. Now I, I'm inside this area. I didn't tell you. Even I'll be questioned for that. Then if you see your brother not doing something... Go and talk to him nicely. Don't tell him you're a kafir or ah, you're out. Don't be praying. Get out of Islam. You're going to the hellfire straight. Thank you very much. You're helping who with that? Satan. Because you want him out already. No, tell him. Instead of that, I'm going to pray today. Do you want to come with me? I can take you. Make, him, make it a habit. Change it. I'm not I'm paying the zakah. You know the zakah is this amount. Do it. Look at this. The Prophet والسلام, imagine that he is the head of state والسلام, and he's walking and he see a young boy crying and he told him why are you crying imagine the president of our presidents walking and he doesn't see a young boy he see a young man an old man crying do you think he'll stop anyway this is not the khutbah today but the Prophet والسلام, saw the young man Crying, young boy, crying. And he said, sat beside him. Why are you crying? And he said, you know, I had a bird and the bird died. And the Prophet, don't worry. And he started calming him down. Calming him down. Now we know it. What's the young bird happened to him? Don't worry. Don't worry. And by the way, Imam al-Shafi'i, this hadith is just these four words. Imam al-Shafi'i got out of it 99 hukm. 99 hukm and he said it's enough 99 is good enough i i can get more but 99 hukm is good enough for me <laughs> just from these four words this hadith Gabr al -Khatr. the prophet goes around and makes sure that 
he makes sure. Imagine that he goes around and he sees someone who is not that beautiful. A man, man he's, some of us are not that good. And he said, and he, I believe his name is Abu Mama, and he told them, who, yashtari, who will buy this slave? And this man told him, if you sell me, you will not get any money out of me. And the Prophet said to him, You are so high ranked in the eyes of Allah. Did Umama win? Did this Sahabi won? I'm, I'm not sure he's Imam or not. I don't write, I have his name here. Did this Sahabi won? He got now that Allah loves him. It's a big reward. And he, Rasulullah, made sure that he gabr khatiru. Because he doesn't look, they look that good. He's called the mean. He, Allah, the Prophet gave him this, uh, this reward. <coughs> Look at the Prophet, even the Prophet himself. Allah want to gabr khatiru. When he left Mecca, when he left Mecca, he looked back to Mecca and he said, he, he, you know, when you go out of your country, and all of us here are coming outside, outside Canada. You look back and you say, I want to go back to Pakistan, to India, to my home. Sometimes even I go back to my home and I looked at the place I lived in, I miss it. You know, you miss the memories, you miss the things that it is there. Sometimes even some of us, you cannot go back to these places. Or the place, place is demolished, and or, or many things. But you go around and feel that, you know, well, what do you feel? I tell my youth sometimes, I want to go back and I go to the back shop, I get usually sandwich food. <laughs> I will not be eating it even, I know that it's... What is there is it cannot be eaten. But still, I want to eat it. I have food here. I have sandwich here. I can do it here. But no. Because I was born there. I ate from him a lot. You know the feeling? What Again, back to the Prophet. The Prophet looked back at Mecca. He said that he's leaving his people. He's leaving his country, his place. Allah told him. Allah told him what? إِنَّ الَّذِي فَرَضَ عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنَ Allah, Allah who gets you the Quran will turn you back, return you back. Don't worry. Even the Prophet needs support. Every one of us needs support. Sometimes I fell down one day. I remember six months I just go to pray. Jumaa, I cannot get out of my house. And my brother tried once, twice, tried to support me until I went out. Sometimes you feel bad and your brother has to watch you. Oh, your brother not means that your brother from your mother or your father. No, we are brothers. We are brothers. When you don't see someone from here, you go to him. Where is Fulan? Where is who so and so? I don't see him. He's not coming. Why? You go check on him. Maybe you're, uh, I didn't see my brother. He knows more people than me. Oh, I didn't see brother, this brother. Where is he? Let's go. Let's go and see him. Why he's not coming? Let's see him. Maybe he has a problem. Who knows? If we can help him. Gabrul Khawat. Abdullah, uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas, one day, was sitting in I'tikaf. I'tikaf. And, and the one the shroot of I'tikaf is don't get out of the masjid. And he's staying inside the masjid. And a man came to him. And he talked to him. And Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud took his shoes and leaving. <laughs> and the people, companions of Abdul said, where are you going? You're in a calf. you cannot leave. And he looked at him and said, a man, this man coming for my support. He needs my help. I'm leaving. And when he left and he came back, he, he told them, I heard the Prophet, والسلام, saying, I walk for the sake of supporting my brother. I, 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 did, I did support him or not. I, didn't, I, I don't know the, the consequence, the conclusion. What's happening next? I try. I try my best. Better, better than staying in the mosque. And I believe it's Masjid Masjid Nabi or Mecca. 70 years. Staying in a place, even in this mosque. I'm not saying, uh, let's ignore. Let's say this mosque. Staying in this mosque for 70 years. Just praying to the sake of Allah. Just going with your brother, supporting him. Trying your best. Maybe walking with him just to show support, power. Sometimes you need that. Look, look at this. The Prophet ﷺ one day was crying. And Sayyidina Jibreel came to him. Why are you crying? 
He said, I'm going to die. Who to the, my ummah after me? He's scared on you, every one of you. He didn't want every one of you to go to Jannah. And Sayyidina Jibreel went to Allah and Allah revealed to him, Wallahi la yukhzik Allah. Allah will never turn you down. If you follow his path, we will go there. That's how beautiful it is. That's why the Prophet is standing in front of the Sirat, waiting for us. Anyone who trip, pray to Allah, take him out. Shafa'a, what should he do? Pray on him, alayhi salatu wasalam. Recite his name, alayhi salatu all of the time. That's why I tell everyone, the youth, the adults, when you hear Muhammad, you say, alayhi salatu wasalam. That simple thing, words you can say, you can get the shafa'a from. If someone is sick, you go and support him. If someone died, say al baqa lillah. Try to support, stand. Say, may Allah reward him. Try to get some good words. That's important. Definitely, Gabr al-Khawatir for the orphans. If you know someone is orphan or his father or mother died, try to support and tell, get, get, get good words to him or her. Definitely, definitely, and definitely, you, who is the best ones you should take care of? Your wife. Your wife. Gabr al You take care, make sure that when you talk to her of someone, they get angry. Yesterday, my wife yelled at me for no reason. I can yell back, by the way. I have a loud voice. I can yell back. I can. I can do that. 100% I can do that. Right? But no. I said, okay. What do you want? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. No worries. Calm down. I didn't say calm down. I know. Sometimes they get angry, which is out of their passion. It's acceptable sometimes to do that. They are not angels. They are not angels. The best one to Gabr Khatira is your wife. And definitely your, your youth. Our youth really are, are facing many problems. Many problems. I'm not saying back home or here. Now the world is a young thing. This phone makes it a small village. A small, everything is there now. My youth, my son here maybe knows in this phone more than me. More than me. Sometimes I, uh, my son, what do you want? Uh, okay, done. What? Okay. I don't know it, but they know better. Gabru Khatiri, if sometimes he gets angry, sometimes he yells, sometimes he doesn't know. Try to slow down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Umur ahlaka bis salati, order your, your family to pray. Huh? Uh, did he say wasbir? Wastabir. And in Arabic, if you add a, word, a character, it means extra work. Was stubborn means that you try your best and do it again. Do it again with yelling? You're going to the hellfire again. No, you don't want them to go to the hellfire. What do you want to do? Gabriel Khater, you know, my son, do it. I'll wait for you. Well, I do it. I do it with my family. I wait for I'll wait for you. Father, you prayed in the mosque. Uh, no problem. I'll pray again. There's no problem to pray again, by the way. You can pray 20 times. Dohr. No problem. Pray it. Asr, 20 times. Go home, pray with your youth. Very important. You prayed in the mosque. I'll pray again with you. What's the big deal? And if he is mumayiz a little bit, he can read the, recite the Quran, and you will lead even. Stand in front of me and lead. And he will make mistakes. It's okay. You did it already. You prayed. You okay. Let him lead. Understand. Make sure that he stands in front of you. It's okay. Definitely giving the gifts to friends in occasions or many things. And definitely, like I always say when you're leaving, smile, even under the mask. If you smile, imagine that someone is, you know, uh, there is a practical, uh, practical thing that they do it even in practical jokes. There's someone went to a train and he saw his phone and he started laughing. It's a practical thing. And everyone in the train starts laughing. The Prophet telling you, smile. And not even know that, you're rewarded. If you smile on your brother, you take a sadaqah. Smile. It doesn't take except smile. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Omar. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers. That's it. Smile. Wallahi, it's a gabr khatir. Sometimes I'm so stressed, so bad, that I'm looking for the smile. I'm looking for the, I always say, oh, my brother smiled for me. Maybe I did something good. 
Just smile, Allah, it's different. I, even if you're standing in my, my hair, you'll see some people are smiling because I said it. Just smile. Even there's a, a thing that they say in customer service. They tell them, they teach them, you have to smile when you're talking in the phone because the other one will hear you, you'll feel the smile. You can search it anyway. Make sure that you take care of everyone. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لكم فاستغفروا يا فوز المستغفرين استغفر الله أنتم مكتنين بالإجابة. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وأسرافنا في أولنا وطفنا صالح الله ورحمة الله المغنى. إن الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا. أما بعد قبر الخاطر in every part of our lives. Taking care of others, taking supporting everyone around us is very important. I'll finish with a story that I love, I love it a lot, which is Ghazwat Hunayn. If you know, hear about it, Ghazwat Hunayn, this is the time the Prophet was fighting, and he claimed a lot of money, a lot of things, and what did he do? He gave it to his people, Ahl Makkah. And the Ansar, who are the Ansar? The people who supported him. And the people who supported him, the Prophet didn't give him anything. Didn't give them anything. Anything. And the Ansar came with each other. This is after Fatih Makkah. And the Ansar sat with each other and he said, The Prophet, his Makkah opened and he's giving his people. He forgot about us. He moving away. And he felt bad. And he felt bad. Who's the head? Sa'd ibn Ubadah. He went to the Prophet والسلام, and he told him, Oh Rasulullah, my people. My people found something against you. And the Prophet said, what? He said, you gave your people all the money and you didn't give us anything. Right? And the Prophet said, this is the people, how about you? Sa'd ibn Ubadah is the head. What about you? And the Prophet said, Sa'd ibn Ubadah said, I'm one of them. This means what? His heart is broken too. And the Prophet said, Get everyone. And no one from Mecca comes. Except Abu Bakr and Umar stay outside to hold, to stay, to look around. That's it. Everyone, Ansar, talk, bring them in. All the Ansar came in one place. And the Prophet looked at them. And he said, والسلام, Talk to me. Imagine that I tell any one of you, Talk to me. What did you do good to me? And definitely they are Sahaba. They are not one of us. They said, Lillahi fadlun minna. We cannot say anything about you, O Prophet. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Prophet said, Now, this is the beauty of al khusuma Sometimes we need to learn that. If you are fighting with someone, be fair to him. Say the good things about him too. But this is another khutbah again. And he said, Qulu. Say. Say. And the Prophet said, if you say, if you're going to say, if you say, you will be truthful. And I will, I'll, I'll believe in you. And he said four things. What's the four things? Everyone didn't believe in you, and we believed in you. No one will support you, and we supported you. And you're running away. And we saved you. No one is supporting system and we helped you. And they are Sahaba. But they have something in their heart broken. And said, what they say? Lillahi al-fadlul minna. It's, it's, no, I cannot say anything. We cannot say anything. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam. Oh, oh, the Prophet first said, I'm sorry. The Prophet said first, well, I came to you, I came to you, and you were beating each other, and I guided you to the right path. And you were killing each other, and I make you one country, one people. And you are away from Islam, and you brought you to Islam. He, the Prophet told them three things, that he has fadl on them, three things. And he told them, when he told them to talk to me, he said they didn't say anything. And now the Prophet said on their behalf, how many? Four things. He said three, and he said four. But now the reward, still, there is no reward. He told them what, what, they, oh, what they did for him. Dabr al-Khatir is still not there. Give us something, O Prophet. 
Don't you want everyone to go with some money and you take the, they take the profit back with you? Don't you want that? Don't you want everyone to leave with some money? Luha, some money. He doesn't care about money. Take Luha. And the Prophet used Luha. It means that garbage, money. What? What's money? Nothing. Go. Take them some money. I'll take sure that they are guided. They believe, they love the money. They are still new. And I leave you with your Islam. Don't you want that? And the Sahaba said, yes. We love that. We love to have you, O Prophet. That's how can... <laughs> that's how can we... Qabr al-Khadr. The best thing in life, if you know, if you learn something, we're talking about Qabr al-Khadr. Supporting, making sure that we help each other. We support each other. All of us, especially if you know that we came back from back home. We, 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 I left my brother, I left my sister, I left my family, my cousins, everyone is there. I, I'm here alone. And you're here alone. Be my brother. I'll be your brother too. Support each other. Create a support system. Because your son, your daughter needs an uncle. Needs an uncle to take care of them. Needs an aunt to take care of her. You have to help each other. Or you'll be lost. This is part of Gabriel Khatr. Remember that Gabriel Khatr, like they say, the Tunji Kaminal Makhatr. Gabriel Khatr will help you, support you when you are in danger. Sometimes, sometimes Gabriel Khatr can make a difference in this world. Wallahi, if you think about it, make sure that you try to support each other, create a system, create help, talk, call, smile, make sure that one day when I see my son here, I'll be very happy that when I see him, he will say, I, I'm a giddu for him. I'm, I cannot say I'm an uncle, I'm a giddu for him. I'm an old guy. I'm a, get, I'm, I'm a grandfather for him. I'm, I love you, grandfather, in the sake of Allah. This is what we, everyone should be doing. That's the, my idea. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم اجمعنا ولا تفرقنا اللهم اكبر خواطرنا اللهم اكبر خاطرنا اللهم اكبر خاطرنا اللهم اجعلنا اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن سبقنا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوم إلى صلاتكم يحمكم الله وأقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر